vegetable soup, and a crock pot. It's very complicated, so get your pens, pencils handy to take your notes. Um, a typical crock pot, very easy. Uh, believe it or not, these little bad boys make clean up a breeze. They're uh, plugging Reynolds slow cooker liners. They're about two bucks at your local grocer. All we're going to do is going to take it, open it up. This is great for pot roast, for chili, for veggie soup, for anything you're making in a crock pot. Drop it in. Boom. Now your cleanup's all taken care of. Carrots, corn, green beans, and green peas. Every day I do. As I spill everything on the counter. Now, dump it in. It's just flash frozen, it real easy. Right. Beef stock. Uh, beef stock is basically a beef broth that's been boiled down from different types of beef. This particular beef broth, Kitchen Basics Original, it's all natural, has less sodium. And what's really important here is no MSG. Just gonna drop that in there and let it fill up. Now this is the, the crucial the crucial step when making vegetable soup in a crock pot. Uh, you got your vegetables in that you like, you got in your broth that you want to cook those in, put your lid on, okay, pay attention now. The really, really crucial part is to plug it in. Uh, a few weeks back, I forgot to do that, and it was room 10. All I'll typically do is I'll just start it on high. I'll let it run on high for two to three hours to give everything the quick defrost in there. And then turn it down on low this evening around 6.30, 7 o'clock. We'll have veggie soup with crackers. It's a good quick fix. I'm done cooking for the day except for lunch. There you go.